You've got mail. You might recall from a previous video that I said that I was doing some Roblox coding. I was learning how to make games in Roblox, and of course I blame that on my son because he won, you know, he's into Roblox and he's making games in Roblox and he wanted me to make games in Roblox. But that's beside the point. What I wanted to do in this video is give a nod to some of the courses that I went out and took. See, I'm the kind of guy that likes to take courses, and I like to take courses because they mean something to me, as in I like that. I like that sequential nature of doing things. So I actually signed up for a few of them. And if you take a look up here, I signed up for, or oh, the first thing I did was I signed up for this one by Peter Baker, the Getting Started in Roblox Development. And then I went over and I did the Learn How to Code Games in Roblox Studio. And then I went over and I did the Roblox Programming and Game Creation. And then I went back to Brendan Ross up here and did the advanced coding course. So I did all of these things because I just, you know, I wanted lots of examples. I wanted lots of exercises. I wanted to go through the process, right? So I thought that I would spend a little bit of time and show you some of these courses specifically. So today I'm just going to talk to you about uh, Peter Baker's course. And uh, this is the one here. And Peter takes you, th this one is actually free. So this is actually a good one to get started. And he takes you through, uh, well, let him talk for a second here. There we go. He's, uh, he, oh, nope, oh, there we go. See, there he is going through his course and he's showing you a little bit of how the, uh, the may, you know, how to create a maze game, a maze runner type game. And uh, I actually took this myself and uh, I went ahead and created my own game with this, which is called Maze Balls. And uh, this is basically how the game wraps up. This is kind of the end of the game in this particular course. But I went a little bit crazy with it, and I took some inspiration from Pac-Man, and I wound up with Maze Balls. So let me show you what that looks like. For the record, though, before I go and show you the game, I should say that I love the course by Peter. I thought this was a great introductory course, and I learned a ton from this thing. And it got me going, and it got me interested in what was happening in terms of Roblox development. And uh, Peter has a nice, easygoing style in the way that he explains things. And, uh, you know, honestly, I wound up giving this thing a five stars at the end of it. So you might want to check it out. And again, this one's free, unlike the advanced course, which, you know, will cost you a few bucks here and there. But this one is like, you know, it's, it's just jump in, do it. Doesn't cost you anything. Congrats on finishing the course. Yes, I did actually finish the course. Anyway, so let me show you what I came up with from my version of the Maze Runner game, okay? So, okay, so here we are in Roblox Studio, and this is my Maze Runner game. And actually, if I go directly above this thing and uh, I zoom way, 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 way out, if you've ever played Pac-Man, like at any point in your life, you are going to recognize something of the layout from this game. In the, it's not exactly a Pac-Man layout, but I took a lot of inspiration from the way things were laid out in Pac-Man. And of course, I added a bunch of additional things, a bunch of, uh, you know, ways to play the game, to do things inside the game. Uh, there are zombies, there are teleports, there are safe locations, there's actually a start to a finish of the game, there are weapons, or not weapons, rather, but uh, um, things that you can collect throughout the system. And... Um, Personally, I think it's a lot of fun, but this was all done um, after I did the uh, course, after having done the course, and I used that as my jump-off point to create my own version of this thing and to create my own Maze Runner game. And uh, frankly, I think I did a pretty darn good job of it. I really enjoyed the way that it turned out, and I thought that the whole experience of creating my own game was actually pretty exciting and pretty cool. And, um, and that was just, you know, starting from scratch with uh, nothing but now. Granted, I do have an IT background, but I had nothing else to go on in terms of Ro Roblox development and programming. And um, this is what I created and took away from Peter's course. You want to see what this plays like? Let's go into it. Let's play it for a second. All right. And here we are. This is, this is my game. This is what it looks like inside of of uh, maze balls and I'm sitting up in the tower here so that I can be safe from the zombies but let me go down below and uh, you know risk my my life and limb whoops there we go ah ah 
there we go all right so we're gonna run through and uh, it is as you can see a, a maze runner a, a very Pac-Man ish maze runner except that of course in this one you have zombies that are chasing you around as well haha -ha. I have escaped that one and oops and my health is way down so I need one of these red pellets here to bring my health back up there we go my health is back up another drooling zombie and I'm trying to collect enough points that I can actually get into uh, to the final save zone which is where the game ends and I actually don't remember where it is but it's up ah! <laughs> I am dead oh wait a minute wait a minute the safe zone is is in here somewhere there's there's a, where's my safe zone I built a safe zone somewhere around here where is my safe zone I actually don't even remember where my safe zone is but it's somewhere in the game trust me on this anyway um, there it is this is my uh, this is my maze runner game and um, and um, and it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun and that is what I created by uh, by uh, you know using the game or oh, somewhere in here we've got teleports teleports uh, because of course in Pac-Man you can teleport from one side of the game to the other let me see if I can find it let me see if I can find the teleports oops zombies ah Hmm. Well, there it is. There's the teleport. There's the teleport. There we go. Boop. Ha ha. <laughs> now I am on the other side of the board. There we go. All right. Anyway, so that's it. Eat pellets, avoid zombies, and collect the victory torch. There you go. And when you start out, of course, you run really, really fast, but that's only for a few seconds. I should uh, have some pellets that make you run really, really fast when you go over them. I've got the red ones, which actually re return your health. I should make, like, some blue ones or something, or, you know, that return your health. Anyway, so there you go. Maze balls. Buy me the result of what I learned by taking the course. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like what I'm doing here, you know how this works. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave some comments and, uh, oh, oh, one other thing, one other thing. Let me show you the one other thing. Make sure you check me out. There's my profile. I am Wooftle. I am Wooftle on, um, on Roblox. And uh, I also have this uh, great little group that I've created called the Institute for Jellyfish Juggling. So make sure you join the Institute for Jellyfish Juggling, okay? And there's some games being created there as well. So cheers, talk to you later. And uh, if you like this, maybe I'll do another one where I tell you how the other courses went. Bye.